Disney prep and landing. Ever wonder how Santa does it? How he visits millions of homes all in one night? Let's just say he has a little help from elves like Wayne and Lanny. Wayne and Lanny are part of Prep and Landing, an elite unit of elves who get things ready for Santa on Christmas Eve. Our mission statement, get in, get out, never be noticed. Wayne has been doing his job for over 200 years. That's right, a really long time. But he was sure he was getting a big promotion this year. He even bought a fancy new snowmobile to celebrate. But when Wayne visited McGee, the North Pole Christmas Eve Command Center coordinator, she told him his partner had gotten the job instead. And now you have a new partner to train, said Maggie. His name is Lanny. I'm so excited to be working with you. I had a poster of you on my wall growing up. But Wayne wasn't excited at all. He was really disappointed that he didn't get promoted. Wayne and Lanny's first mission was to go to Timmy Torwelp's house. They parachuted toward the roof. Lanny quickly scanned the living room. But Wayne didn't feel like working, so he had put himself on cookie assessment instead. Lanny had a lot to do. He pointed his spy device under the tree to see what Timmy was getting for Christmas. Oh, a bike, Lanny exclaimed. He is going to be so happy. This is so tinsel. Meanwhile, Wayne was watching TV. He was so busy drinking hot cocoa and eating cookies that he didn't notice Timmy was standing right next to him about to take his picture. Meanwhile, Maggie and her crew had been busy preparing for Santa's departure. They had made the list. They had checked it twice. All prep and landing teams were underway. Now Santa and his reindeer were on their way too. But as soon as Santa soared into the night sky, a snowstorm appeared on the radar screens. This was bad. Really bad. Back at Timmy's house, things weren't going that well. Either. Timmy had picked up Wayne and had given him a giant bear hug. Luckily, Lanny ran into the den and tossed a ball at Timmy that would make him fall asleep. In an instant, Timmy was sleeping peacefully. Outside in the frosty night, the storm was getting worse. Determined to reach Timmy's house, the reindeer bravely pulled Santa's sleigh through the thick fog and falling snow. Lanny and Wayne placed the sleeping Timmy back into his bed. Just look at his face, Wayne, said Lanny. Imagine his joy on Christmas morning. Imagine all the great memories he'll pass on to his children and his children's children. The thrill may be gone for you, Wayne, but it's not gone for him. Wayne shook his head. He had been working for Prep and Landing too long. 
He just wasn't excited about Christmas anymore. Suddenly, Wayne's head said buzz. It was Maggie calling to make sure he and Lanny were on the roof preparing for Santa's arrival. The roof! It wasn't even close to being ready for Santa. Wayne had been goofing off, and then he and Lanny had put Timmy back to bed. But relax, Wayne said. It's all right now. But Maggie couldn't relax. Christmas at Timmy's house was at stake. Maggie had to call Santa to tell him that Timmy's house wasn't ready. They were running out of time, so Santa would have to skip delivering gifts to Timmy's house. It's never come to that, Santa exclaimed. There are millions of other kids counting on you, Maggie explained. We'll make it up to him somehow. Santa and his reindeer quickly changed course. Unfortunately, Timmy wouldn't get a visit from Santa this year. The big guy's passing us by, cried Lanny as he watched Santa's sleigh turn around. What about Timmy's Christmas? Wayne felt terrible. He never meant for this to happen. Just then, Timmy rolled over in his sleep. He reached out for Wayne and gave him a hug. This will be the best Christmas ever. Lanny and Wayne knew what they had to do. They were going to try to convince Santa that he had to come back to Timmy's house. Wayne told Maggie to patch him through to Santa. Sir, Wayne exclaimed, my name is Wayne from Prep and Landing. I need you to come to this house, sir. Santa replied that he had already changed his course but Wayne pleaded with him to come back. He couldn't let Timmy down. Static crackled on the line. Wayne held his breath. Finally, Santa chuckled. I was hoping you'd say that. Let's give it a shot. Lanny and Wayne climbed up the chimney and onto the roof. The snowstorm had turned into a blinding blizzard. They struggled to get the snowman landing lights into place. Suddenly, a great gust of wind sent the lights flying into the night sky. Lanny and Wayne couldn't see anything in the storm except the lights of a neighbor's Christmas display down the street. And what a display it was. They grabbed a huge inflated Santa snow globe, lights, and lawn ornament. Everything Santa needed to be able to see Timmy's house and land his sleigh. This will be the best Christmas ever. This is so tinsel. Wayne dragged the snow globe black to Timmy's house. Lanny tied one end of string of lights to Timmy's mailbox and the other end to the snow globe. Then Wayne attached a parachute and launched it high into the air. Soon it would be a brilliant signal in the sky so Santa would be able to find Timmy. Lanny and Wayne started climbing back to the roof. Suddenly Lanny's line broke. He needed help and fast. Wayne swung down and scooped up Lanny in midair and launched them both onto the roof. That was close. Just then, Wayne heard Santa's voice in his earpiece. Santa couldn't see the landing strip. Almost there, sir, Wayne replied. Wayne threw his line toward the chimney, but the hook mixed its mark. Suddenly, Lanny jumped up and grabbed the end of the line. Together, the two elves held on tight and the sleigh skidded to a stop with inches to spare. Wayne and Lanny smiled. They did it.
Timmy was going to have a wonderful Christmas after all. On Christmas Day, Wayne stood in Santa's office. Wayne was pretty sure it was his last day on prep and landing, but he wanted to make sure Lanny got the new partner he deserved. He's a good elf, sir, Wayne said. But Santa didn't fire Wayne. Santa wasn't upset at all. He reached out and handed Wayne a present, a snow globe with a picture inside of Timmy riding his new bike as a reminder of why prep and landing is so important. And then he asked Wayne a question. What did Santa say, Lanny asked, as soon as Wayne had closed the office door? Wayne told him that Santa had actually offered him a promotion to be the director of the nice list. Wow, said Lanny. Congratulations. I turned him down, Wayne said. I'm more of a prep and landing guy. Best Christmas ever. Our mission statement. Get in, get out, never be noticed. I'm so excited to be working with you. I had a poster of you on my wall growing up. This is so tinsel. Ho, ho, go, go, go. Are you a baby elf? You're squeezy. Imagine all the great memories he'll pass on to his children and his children's children. The thrill may be gone for you, Wayne, but it's not gone for him. This will be the best Christmas ever. Best Christmas ever. <laughs>